Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to check it out how to warp text in Photoshop. Select the type tool, type in whatever you want. Now, you also can recolor this. Press Ctrl A and you can change the color over here or up here and go with a light gray, something like this. Click OK. Press Ctrl T, scale it up. And also, I suggest you to go with a condensed font. For example, in my case, I use Mango Grotesque Extra Bold. You can also Google it and download it. It is for free. From here, right click on the text and click on Rasterize Type. Press Ctrl T. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit clockwise. I also gonna press Ctrl R. So you can see we got the ruler here. I'm gonna drag the ruler so I can see in which place I'm going to distort it. I gotta go somewhere here in this section. I'm gonna remove the ruler and double click on the text. Press Ctrl T again, right click, click on warp, right click again and select split warp horizontally. Now it's going to create a line like this and drag the cursor up somewhere here where you want to split it. I want to split it somewhere here. Right click again, select split warp horizontally again and I'm going to put the second one somewhere around here. I'm going to do this procedure again, right click and I'm going to place the third one a little bit higher. Now I'm going to select this dot here. I'm going to press Ctrl Shift and select also the right dot and I'm gonna pull this line something like this so I'm gonna start warping it and now I'm gonna select the dot separately I'm gonna select the right dot in the center I'm gonna pull it somewhere here and I also gonna select the handle and I'm gonna pull it to make it more curvy of course it's gonna start distorting it quite a bit and I'm gonna select the left one pull the handle again to make it more straight and I'm gonna pull this handle also I'm gonna try unfortunately there's no shortcut that got to make it like straight as possible and i also gonna pull from here to straighten it out so this is quite difficult it's not easy until you get it right and it looks something like this i'm gonna click on enter now i'm gonna select the ruler again drag it press ctrl t and i'm gonna rotate and arrange it in the parallel way with the ruler see now it's like pretty parallel with the ruler and now we're gonna add some shadings and because of the text is a light gray color we can incorporate shadows a little bit more easily so first what I'm going to do is select the polygon lasso tool and I'm going to go here and I'm going to start separating like this and I'm going to select the bottom text and now we're going to go and select the burn tool make sure that you're on highlights I can de decrease the exposure a little bit more somewhere around 20 and I'm going to click here press and hold shift and click all the way to the end and it's going to start making it a little bit more darker now this is going to be controlled rather than just applying a gradient do it a couple of times until you feel it's okay I'm going to do it one more what I'm going to do now is go to select and click on invert and with the same burn tool I'm going to do this process here at this curvature so this is a specific spot because in this bottom area it needs to be a little bit more light and then it's going to be more darker and again it's going to be more light so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about I'm going to decrease the brush size I'm going to click here zoom out press and hold shift and click at the end so it's going to create that shadow somewhere on this area not on not on the bottom so I'm going to do the same thing you also can modify it you also can select the dodge tool make it a little bit more lighter you know change it to mid-tone decrease it and also remove the strong shadows and this is one way to warp text in photoshop thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye